couple days ago, I posted a video on how my fire alarm control panel trouble works, but it's, it was the more, way more detailed version. And I talked about relays and how um, it powers my control panel. If you want to watch that video, click up here, and you can go see that one. Um, but this video, I'm going to explain how the relay actually works. So a relay is basically just um, like a little box that has an electromagnetic coil. Let me give you a closer look on that. And let's say the coil was right there. The electro it's an electromagnet. And that has two prongs coming out. And those prongs are the positive and the negative. Positive, negative, that runs on 24 volts DC. Oh, well, that's on my system. That goes down right there. And this has a whole bunch of coils. Look like a copper coil. I'm pretty sure it's copper. It has right there. And then there's the the also there's um three bigger prongs. I'll make those darker. You can hold them apart. One, two, and three. Your relay might look a di little different on different types and different brands. But um uh this one is current this is how mine looks. And then the system has a little a tiny little thing that's held up by a spring and it's connected to this side right now and uh, this is a little gap right here and this has a wire little, 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 that comes down all the way to this one right here that thing right there has the wire that's connected to this little metal prong that's being pushed this way to the right because there's the spring right there it's being pushed to the right and um, uh, the thing cannot complete the circuit because the thing is like the magnet is off. I'll make a little spring right here that imitate a spring. It's like the, that, that's all held on this top thing. The spring right here is pushing it to the right. And if when the power comes on, uh, then this is no longer touching this. And the electromagnet pulls this metal rod over, and um, this is not touching this and it's not touching that anymore instead of looking like that it would look like this there'd be another pr pr prong prong and the thing would be touching that on that side and it would look like that and it'd go back and forth back and forth if you unplugged it and plugged it back up again um and that's basically how it really works and then after that you can, you can create a circuit like completed circuit uncompleted circuit with like the wires that, that hooks up to my other like to my trouble system i hope you enjoyed this video have a good day